Crafty's eye. Crafty. Okay, that is so bad. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Crafty Cat, and today I'm gonna be doing a pretty, hopefully substantial, maybe minimal, closet, <laughs> closet cleanup. Wait, 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 air horn sounds. I'm sorry, if this video sounds like I'm being like super sarcastic or like really hired, you know, it's because I am. Both things, no exceptions. I'm just realizing you can see my window in the background, so I'm gonna shut that. Just, give me a second. Honestly, some disclaimers to start the video. I have no idea, like z zero clue, how people with closet doors, like how do they film? Because you can see my light, literally my whole room here in the mirror. So I'm sorry if that distracts you. It's not gonna be like that for long because we're gonna be opening up the doors and peeking into the abyss of clothes. Oh my gosh, ow, I forgot that there were hangers in here. Ow, ow. <laughs> I feel like I was gonna say a whole bunch of things. Oh yeah. Right. It's not to brag about how many clothes I have. The majority of them I bought with my own money, which I know that's not like a huge thing why you should have that many clothes. I kinda love clothes. I've really been into fashion and dressing myself like a put together lady. I know you can't really tell in this this outfit. It's not that bad. It's kind of stylish. I really like clothes. I like putting outfits together and making them look good. So that's why I have a lot of clothes. This next part is also not to brag, but I feel like a lot of people have super messy closets. I don't know, we could just open this and it's super messy, but I hate being messy. It is insane because when I was younger, I literally was probably the messiest person I knew. I was actually going to film a clean with me video today, but then I was like, oh, my room is kind of clean. And I'm not just saying this because I'm filming this on like the one day that I clean. I actually do clean like almost too much. I think I might have a problem. But anyway, closet. We're like four minutes into this video and I haven't even talked about my closet. By the way, this, section is mine over on this section these are all my little sister's clothes and then these are my clothes i want to kind of figure out like what's going on because i don't like having my clothes like sorted into different sections like in the way that they are right now because this section was supposed to be my pants section this part of my closet is so full that this side has like overflowed to some of the like more out there pieces anyway let's just get into the video so this part of my closet is supposed to be organized in rainbow order sort of the sweaters are in rainbow order and then these are supposed to be in color coordinated order but like why is this yellow piece here hopefully when this is over i'm going to have this fully sorted in rainbow order i really hate to think about having to take all of my clothes out but i feel like i might have to do that see it's hard because there's like sentimental pieces that i won't wear but i kind of want to keep them because i made them let's put it on a pile in a pile whoa that was okay <laughs> it was way too aggressive i'm gonna have a pile for not keep right now and then maybe later i might sort it into like donations and sell or something i really like this shirt it's Super see-through. I feel like this might be the maybe pile. I like this shirt. Really like this shirt. Just got this shirt. How cute is it? It has a little cat on it. Two cats. I drew that myself and then I printed it on the t-shirt. I have this shirt thing that I literally haven't worn in so long. Every time I wear it, my friends and my sister thinks that I look so cute in it, but I kind of hate it. I think it's like a maternity thing. We'll put it there. I might give it to my sister or one of my friends or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, this shirt I am so torn on because I kind of hate it, but it's so cute. You know? It's got like the ruffle sleeves. I was so happy when I first got it, but now I'm like, I, I, do, I don't know about it. We'll put it in the maybe pile. It's so soft. Okay, let's just time lapse the rest of this. I said I was gonna time lapse this, but this shirt makes me so sad because it was given to me by one of my friends, literally like my best friend probably in the entire world. She gave this to me for my 13th birthday. Oh my gosh, that was a long time ago. I loved it when I got it. I literally thought it was so cute and I still think it's cute. I just don't think it's flattering on me. If you're watching this, I love you. And I'm like very happy that I got this, but I don't know. I may have to get rid of it. Don't, don't be mad at me, okay? I love you. <laughs> seriously sad like why am i sad about it it's clothing are you serious my battery is flashing right now this is a sentimental moment <laughs> specifically this sweater i don't know why i have such an emotional attachment to it because i honestly kind of hate it it's not flattering on that's why i don't like it but like 
I've worn it to some like emotional times where I was like emotional in the time that I was wearing it. Does that make any sense? But when I like took it off and I was like, this has gone through like the second time that I cleaned out my closet and I was ready to get rid of it and I hung on to it and I wore it once and I hated it, but I'm sad to get rid of it. Okay, so the situation right now is that we have two piles that sort of combine together, but we have the def get rid of pile and then we have the maybe keep pile. So, oh gosh, I just literally took off three shirts off the hanger. What is wrong with me? Me complaining for five minutes straight. See, it's been a stressful day today. Anyway, what was I even saying? I'm color coding my closet. Let's do that. Before we color code my closet, I keep saying that, it's kind of it's kind of catchy. I have a whole bunch of, well, not a whole bunch. I have a couple dresses back here, which I'm not gonna put into the color coding scheme because I don't really wear dresses in the middle of winter, literally like five feet of snow on the ground, you know? And I think I might keep out my sweaters too, which literally take up half my closet because I like having my sweaters color coordinated and then also my shirts and stuff. So let's do that. <laughs> coordinated why does it look so much worse now that it's color coordinated so that's all I'm gonna be doing with this section for now now we are going to move on to this section so we are not gonna bother with this stuff down here because this is all my little sisters actually it's kind of bothering me about these hangers so let's just whip this up quickly okay I'm back from doing that I hate staring at stuff like that for a long time so I didn't want you to have to deal with that today we are gonna be focusing on only my stuff which my stuff is all up here this stuff up here is mostly just pants and then like three shirts so I'm gonna take these all out oh gosh what the heck was that I'm a mess so these are the three shirts this one I'm just sorry goodbye I'm getting rid of it see the thing is I would 100% get rid of it, but then I'm like, what if I go to another neon theme party, you know? And then this shirt, I would keep, but I think I got another ski shirt that I wear skiing that's not this obnoxious purplish pink color that no one likes. Anyway, I'll put this in the maybe pile. I'm gonna give it to my mom to see what she wants to do with it because it was kind of expensive. I think I have my belt rack, which I really should have a different way to dis display them. It's literally just a hanger with a frick ton of belts on it like hello i have like almost no pants i mean you're seeing this in like of course you have pants but i'm basically saying all of my jeans i don't i don't have any jeans here Damn, there's people that are dying this is unimportant information that i'm telling you with tegan this year or last year i guess i lost a lot of weight which i'm not going into in this video but literally maybe 90 percent of my jeans didn't fit like they were so big so baggy i decided after a while to just literally ditch like almost every pair of jeans that were like that because i was like dude if i can't wear them like why would i keep them you know i feel like normal people would be like oh i have like two and i'm like i have five and that's like small right now i only have one pair of jeans and i think the rest are in the wash because i haven't done my laundry in a while let's get into sorting my pants out these is my rack of skirts this is probably the only skirt this red one that i wear a lot first of all it has pockets second of all it's red and third of all it's super freaking flattering the only thing about it is that it's too big like around the waist so i have to belt it and then some of the belt fall blah, blah, blah. the second belt on this rack is this hideous jean but not even jean it's fake jean printed material and it has belt loops like what the heck let's start with the pros of this skirt because we don't want to be all negative it fits like me like a glove and it also it has pockets you know this wasn't a good purchase because it still has the tag on it why is it this long like who needs a skirt this long it was like down to my ankles goodbye now we just have these two the red one i'm definitely keeping and then i have this skirt the gray one, which I haven't worn in a while. I think I might wear it more this summer, so I'm gonna keep it for now. These are leggings, black leggings, that are too big for me and see-through, so I'm gonna get rid of them. Next hanger, we've got this hideous, hideous, down to my ankles, black skirt that I only wear if it's a funeral. Anyway, and then there are these leggings, which I don't wanna get rid of because they were very expensive and my mom bought them, and that was like right before I started losing weight. And then turns out 
I got a freaking like large or whatever. They're too big for me now. Healthy. Weight loss is good, but clothes, it's annoying if you love a pair of clothes. A pair of clothes? <laughs> Some clothes, and then you just like grow to them in like the weirdest way because like you're not growing too big for them, you're growing too small for them, but the hardest thing ever, I know. Complaining about things that don't matter. Anyway, the next hanger has these pants, which I really should get rid of, but I have like <clears throat> barely any jeans. You know, we talked about this. They're in my old size, so they are quite big on me. I'm gonna keep them for now. I'm gonna put these pants on a different hanger because I have never worn them out. I know, it's terrible. I knew I wasn't gonna wear them when I bought them because it was like in the middle of winter or just starting to become winter and these are very summery pants. I think I'm gonna wear them in the summer. At least I hope I'll wear them in the summer. So I'm gonna save them until then. And then I also have these orange pants which I've worn so many times. I love them so much. I'm not gonna get rid of them. I've literally got one more hanger and it is these snap pants. These are the coolest pants that I've ever found at a thrift store before. They are like the most trendy pants. They're black pants with the athletic stripe down the side. And did I not mention they're snap-off pants? Which is so cool. They fit me. Don't get me wrong. I can maybe go up like a half a size, which I know they don't do, but like when I bend down, the snaps on the side just like crack open. I'm like, wow, this is great to like wear in a public place where there are people everywhere. It isn't a fake snap so i've only worn it like three times i was gonna wear them babysitting and i was also gonna wear them volunteering but then i was like what if the snap just unsnaps like i'm just in the nude in front of children that's not good <laughs> that's all the pants for now at least we'll do belts and then we'll do the bin up here Okay, so I have a whole bunch of belts here. Some of them I wear every single day and some of them I literally have never worn. Also, I hate how I've organized them. I know I said this before. Are there specific hangers that you can buy to hang your belts on? I'm pretty sure there are. I love this belt so much. It's the ring one. It is so cute. This belt I love. I think it's really cute. It's like a colorful belt. I think it was a kid's belt and I like it. But I feel like it goes with like no outfits that I have. I feel like it's a maybe belt. So I'll put it in the maybe. This one I love so much, but I also haven't worn it that much. But I have worn it, so I think I'm gonna keep it for now. I used to wear this belt a lot because I couldn't find the one that I actually like. But this belt, like, stains. Like, I don't know if you can see that. It says genuine leather. It stains your fingers when you touch it. Also, sorry. Again, you can see it on the belt buckle thing. There's, like, black. I'm gonna get rid of that belt. This is literally, like, a string. And then there's this one, which I really like this part of the belt. But then the actual belt loop. Like, what? How hideous is that? But I think I'm going to, instead of getting rid of this, I'm gonna put it in our costume bin. Okay, let's put these back on the hanger. These are my three fav favorite belts ever. Oh, yeah. 